everyone in your senior leadership team knew that Horizon's integrity was very much in doubt and that you wanted to cover that up. What sort of culture were you presiding over where a legal department receives evidence of a bug in a trial which was about Horizon and they do not disclose that bug? The first question I ask is whether you deliberately had your team produce a report for you which would cover up the fact that you knew and everyone in your senior leadership team knew that Horizon's integrity was very much in doubt and that you wanted to cover that up? No, absolutely not. Well then, if I may, I'm going to ask some questions about the Seema Misra trial in that case. This inquiry has seen a document which shows that not long before the trial, there was a meeting between Post Office and Fujitsu in which the receipts and payments mismatch bug was discussed. Have you seen any of the evidence or seen that document? I, you should I, have seen the document at least. I have seen least. a document around a bugs and mismatch report, yes. And Gareth Jenkins, a witness at Seema Misra's trial, was in that meeting. Have you I, seen that? I, I believe you, I believe you. And various um, options for resolving that bug were discussed, one of which made it perfectly plain that Fujitsu had the power to remotely alter branch accounts. Uh, that was put forward as a way to resolve the consequences of the receipts and payments mismatch bug. Did you see that? Yes, I did see that. Now, your legal department, your criminal law team, knew about that on the Friday before Mrs. Misra's trial started on the Monday because we have uh, evidence which shows that that document that you've read was emailed to them and it was printed out by John L. Singh on the Friday before the Monday start. What sort of culture were you presiding over where a legal department receives evidence of a bug in a trial which was about Horizon and they do not disclose that bug? What sort of culture were you presiding over? Firstly, to say that um the only reason that I know about the bug and mismatch report is because it was presented to me in the bundles that I've seen. Um, so at the time I was unaware. It's also fair to say that it was not pulled out in the Ismay report um, as one of the Horizon um, bugs. The others were listed, but it was not. So I was not aware of it. And I did not know until you have just told me uh, that Mr. Jarnall had the information that you have laid out at the time that he had it. Uh, in terms of the culture of the organisation, uh, I'm shocked and frankly appalled if that is in fact the sequence of events. Um, and I didn't know about it. Well, one of the points that was made in the Ismay report was that there were no back doors into Horizon accounts. That's right, isn't it? Yes. Did you know about the fact that your staff, a little bit after the report was finished, sent emails to one another, including to Rod Ismay, in which they said that they knew about the back doors. They knew about the back doors because of that meeting about the receipts and payments mismatch bug. Did you know that? No, I didn't know any of this. Nevertheless, during the trial, as we've seen, uh, because of your response to the famous bandwagon email, you were keeping an eye on that trial, weren't you? Only in overview terms. I didn't know anything about the detail of the case. Well, uh, let's bring it up again. It won't take long. This is the last um, thing we need to look at. Uh, poll 
So if we just look at that uh, second paragraph from Rod Ismay, Dave and the ET, that's the executive team, isn't it? Yes. Have been aware of the significance of these challenges. <coughs> that meant challenges to Horizon, didn't it? Uh, I think so, yes. And have been supportive of the excellent work going on in so many teams to justify the confidence that we have in Horizon and in our supporting processes. So this trial was being used, wasn't it? It was being used not as a criminal trial to determine whether somebody was guilty or not guilty of a crime, but it was being used to justify the confidence that you had in Horizon. No, that's not the case. It was, a, it was being carried out through the normal course of events. Why then did Mr Ismay, the man that you say was in high regard across the business and you therefore chose him to write your report, why was he saying that the excellent work in that trial was to justify the confidence that we, Poll, have in Horizon? I don't know. You'd have to ask him. I don't know why he chose those words. In the aftermath of the Ismay report, this trial of Seema Misra was being actively used by post office as part of your campaign to claim that Horizon was robust, wasn't it? I don't believe so, no. You were deliberately closing your eyes to problems with the integrity of Horizon data, weren't you? No. And you were encouraging your staff to pursue a trial as another method of shoring up a problem system which you knew had serious question marks over it. Absolutely not. As I said to you before, the, the Sima Misra case started long before I joined the business. And, and you were watching it closely, weren't you? We were watching it, yes. And you were encouraging your staff to pursue that trial as a test of Horizon? Not to pursue it as a test of Horizon, no, to pursue it if it was appropriate to do so, like all other cases. 